Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 174. In this segment, I'm using the 35th anniversary Camaro. Yay! It's cool, I like it. So let's just upgrade this thing up to B class. To the tippy tippy top of B class. It's like most, well actually I don't know if it was mostly power upgrades. I didn't look too hard at the list. Uh. Hmm. Actually, it looks like it didn't put much in terms of power upgrades. Uh, let's take the weight reduction off. Get rid of that. Eh, whatever. Hmm. I'll keep the tires on. Let's put the tire width back to stock, though. That'll be good enough. I mean, this is going to be a short race series, so I don't want to downgrade it too much. So, let us go Camaro in. In. In, 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 in. In. I don't know. For the Mustang Camaro Challenge. Mustang vs. Camaro. Yeah. Cool. Ooh, we got a couple Celine Mustangs in this. Ooh. And a couple Shelby's. I forgot about those. Shit. I was I looked only in the Ford dealership for Mustang. I'm like, oh yeah. I completely forgot about the Shelby's and the Celines. Oh well, I got a Camaro. That's fine with me. So we got five races to do here. Starting with race number one at Road Atlanta. Okay, here we go. Of course, uh Miller behind me will be driving the same Camaro. Damn it. I'll tell you what, once we get past the manufacturer races, I'm going to like actively. Oh god. Excuse me, Brown. Jesus Christ, dude. He was determined to not let like to not let me around him. Okay. Also wasn't it's not Miller's driving the other Camaro, it's fucking Brown, or, uh, Jones. Jones is his name, holy shit. Anyways. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, once we get past the manufacturer races, I'll try to, like, actively use a car unique to what the AI is using. As much as I can. Since, you know, restrictions will be much more open. Brown really did pull an Esposito there. Fucking asshole. Get your car out of my way. I don't care if it is a Shelby 2 Mustang. Oh god. Okay, that didn't quite work as planned. Also, I gotta remember these races are short. Luckily, this is three laps, not two. So, you know, I can't really fuck around like I'm currently doing. Get my way. Sneak by Williams, it didn't work. I was not sneaky enough. Where's he gonna be up in the air? Let's see, this is pulling a gap. And I'm still stuck behind Williams. There we go. I was really hoping that was gonna work. And it did. Alright, Davis, I'm coming for you. Goodness. The front of my car is absolutely destroyed. That is that is fucking that is a sad sight. I 
I love how different these two generations of Camaro are to each other. to the chicane. Hey, it is. Okay. Made pass a lot later than expected. I got him. And there we go. A very shitty race one win. Win one win. Oh wow, Taylor finished seventh. The other 2010 Camaro. Way to go. Dumbass. I don't know. Anyways, time for race two. Hey, we're gonna say, uh, we haven't been here yet tonight. This recording session. Stream. Peem, 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 peem. Two laps. Let's do this shit. Insert critical impression here. Every time I say let's do this shit, I immediately think of critical. My mind is tainted. Three wide. Almost four wide. Well, that was a, that was an experience. Somehow I came out on top of that. But uh, there we go. I mean, see, these are short races, so I don't really have time to uh, lollygag around. I guess, uh, well... Using my time efficiently, I guess. And also aggressively. Hello, Davis. How you doing? What is up, my dude? Your blue-ass helmet. I like how all the AI drivers, like, have racing suits and helmets the same color as the color they they paint their cars. It's neat. Oh, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Go me. Toyfoon Lurgoon. Yeah, Scotian, exactly. The Turf and Loggin. Okay, well, since I crashed my way into the lead in one lap. Just get to cruise around this lap pretty much. <clears throat> Taylor's actually holding on to third this time. No idea what had him get shuffled back to 7th at, uh, wherever the hell we were, rode Atlanta, but, yeah. Oh no, please stay on the road. Turf and log in his best racetrack. Down the hill we go. over the, uh, the modern Camaros. Alright, that went well. Well, I say that went well, and then you see the right side of my car. Uh, okay, other than the Andretti hairpin on lap one, it went well. Even then, it still went kind of well, because I, you know, passed like four cars in that mess. 
Another level up, and it's race three. Okay, race three at Sedona Club. Fuck yeah. I'm sure, like, I, I'm not gonna say this is one of those tracks where I just would not get tired driving around, but I probably would as much as I love it. I don't know. I mean, if I can handle 24 hours around the Sarth, I could totally do 24 hours around Sedona and not get tired of it. Whoop. Hey, how you doing, Williams? How you doing, Williams? Excuse me, sir. Motherfuckers be more aggressive than I am. That's saying something. Excuse me. Can you, like, fuck off my stage, bro? I know you wanted to break up the Camaro train, but fuck off. <laughs> okay, now. Here I was, I was actually going to go for a clean race, but no, Williams had to screw that all up. Well, as long as I can get around these two cleanly. Doesn't mean I can't be aggressive. Well, that dive almost worked. And I'm gonna have to sandbag a little bit just so I don't ram into the back of Taylor here through a chicane. Get a run, get a run, get a run. Go, go, go. Oh, that was so close. Alright, Davis, you're mine this lap. 1v1, mate. be careful here, because while this is where I can make a pass on, I'll also have to be careful to not just fucking destroy the ass of his car. There we go. Perfect. Execution. Oh, fuck. All time to execute myself. Damn it. Okay. Oh, God. That was a much quicker closing rate than I was expecting. Oh, so much for a clean win. Fuck me. Okay, let's do the sandbag strategy again. Oh god. Oh god, that was close. Well, I tried didn't succeed very- I would have succeeded if I had not driven way off the fucking road. Oh well. I still win. Not bad. Alright, three down, two to go. Anyway, it's time for race four. At Sebring Short. At least it's not the club circuit. I mean, I like the club circuit, but, you know, it's nice to do the other half of Sebring as well. I mean, it'd be nice to do the whole circuit, but I'm not worthy for that yet. I see you there, Miller. Don't think I don't. And Taylor's gonna get shuffled back, probably. Oh, he slots in in fourth, okay. Just dive underneath Williams here, he's not gonna give me any room. Okay. I had a feeling like you weren't being serious with the whole track boundaries because like well hashtag anyways yeah can never be certain with people on the internet though I don't know anyways oh okay fuck these cones I'm trying to get forced into debris caution what are my gauges doing being gauges. I don't know, were they doing something weird? Because I wasn't paying attention. Hello, Davis, how you doing? Oh, oh my god. 
What is up, my dude? I just cannot do turn one around here very well anymore in something that, like, isn't a race car. Like, I used to be alright around turn one in, you know, production cars, but I'm just fucking... Yeah. I just noticed that, Scotian. The, uh, little gauge panel here is very reflective. It's reflecting the goddamn clouds. Sure. Nothing I like T-tops. Okay, yeah, it's not entirely bogus, because I can see how it could be doing that, although I don't fucking know. It's still weird. It has like that much of a reflection on the sky, including the clouds. Or reflection of the sky. Like they fucking put a mirror there. Anyways, I don't even think that's like angled correctly for something like that. I don't know. Video game logic. There. There's your explanation. Also, that was a pretty easy victory. Cool. And Taylor ended up fifth, so he lost another spot. At some point. Oh well. So we got level 10 Infinity with Chevrolet finally, and we have one race to go in this series. And we end the Camaro versus Mustang, or Mustang versus Camaro, Camaro, Sting, Camaro versus Challenge at Sonoma. Two laps around the NASCAR course. So, off we go. This is kind of accurate to the current Xfinity series. Now to think about it. although I don't think they run at Sonoma. No, the Xfinity series doesn't race at Sonoma. But like the Xfinity series right now is fucking Mustangs and Camaros and also whatever fucking Toyota is in the series. So ha 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 shut up me. On this day, I see clear away. Scotian's posting the lyrics in my chat. I kind of want to do, like, the fucking Tony Chimmel thing, but I don't know if I can crack my voice at will like that. I can crack- my voice will crack. I could probably crack it at will, but I don't know if I can do it to that extent. The rated R superstar. I'm pretty sure, like, they only keep Chimmel around just so he can introduce Edge, like, twice a year. It's great. Oh, so was that overtake on Taylor. That was a really nice pass. And just sweeps around Davis here into turn one. Nice. Oversteering very slightly to the left as I was preparing for uh, was slowing it down. Let's do the brawn thing. Brawn! His theme song is so fucking stupid. Like, it's supposed to paint him as this, you know, big, badass motherfucker, and it's just like... God damn it. It's just chug, 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 chug. Braun Strowman is fucking great, though. I love Braun. Oh, fuck. How you doing? Drift Nation, bro. This didn't go flying into the wall like I thought I was going to do. 
Every time I, go, I approach that hairpin, I think of uh, Dirt to Daytona and how upset the AI gets when approaching that hairpin coming to a yellow flag. They just drive straight into the fucking wall. It's hilarious and kind of sad. Anyways, I won by over four seconds in a matter of two laps. Nice. Actually, I pulled out that four second gap in a lap, so woo. But there we go. Is it me or am I getting a lot of, uh, or am I getting more XP suddenly? So I feel like I'm leveling up slightly faster. I don't know why. Or than I have been. Anyways, there's all five races of the Mustang Camaro Challenge complete. So, with that done, we move on to our 20th event of the North American Manufacturer Races next time. <gasps> Stay tuned for more Forza.